Hello everybody, it's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, got another one out of the Saddling Fridge downstairs. This is Bottle Works 13th Anniversary Ale Stone Brewing. Uh, guys, this is probably an 8 to 10 year old beer. This is even before Stone was dating their stuff, I think, because I couldn't find anything on there. This is an 11 percenter and it's an American Strong Ale. Uh, and I've had it for a long, long, long time, guys. Uh, so hopefully it has cellared well in the bottle. Uh, we shall see. Uh, for a beer that's called the Bottle Works, when I looked at Stone and uh, 13th anniversary, it had a different bottle on it and, and only a nine and a half percenter. So I had to dig down and type in Bottle Works, even though it's Stone. Uh, they're doing so much different variations from one beer to the other and they're both called 13th anniversary. Lord have mercy. Enough to confuse the average beer drinker, such as myself. Uh, but this is an 11 percenter uh, and it is done by Stone Brewing but they're calling it Bottle Works instead of just their 13th anniversary. So they've done two different versions of a 13th anniversary beer. Uh, it took me 20 minutes to figure out what I needed to type in on Beer Advocate and, and Untapped to get the right damn beer. But I found it. So, uh, of course, it's a retired beer. Uh, they did it once and done. Uh, and I've had it, like I said, for a long time. So, we don't have any IBUs, 11%. I don't have a commercial description. So, let's get it on. Final beer of the evening for me. And we're slowly working our way through those beers in the cellar and fridge and in the closet. Down the center we're going to go on this one. Yeah, leave her a little bit there. Just a tad over a finger of head on that pour. Very dark in the glass. I can see some light through the thin part here. It is a very dark ruby red, almost a cola color. Looks good in the glass. To the nose we go. A very nice prominent sweetness. A lot like a barley wine or an American Strong Ale would have. Roasted malt. A hint of some molasses, caramel, toffee. And a slight hint of some dark fruit. Smells very good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Tasty beer. Has a little bit of a strong bitterness to it. I was hoping it wouldn't, but it probably takes a lot of bittering hops to balance out 11% strong ale. Seems like it has soured very well. Slight hint some licorice, some dates, raisins, and figs. Very nice, it's very pleasant. It has cellared very well. So we're going to let this thing warm up like we always do. And sip on it for a while and we'll come back and see where it drops in. Alright guys, I'm back and I'm sipping on it a while. Tasty beer, but nothing outstanding, world class or anything like that. Uh, I've had better. But it's decent. Uh, I mean, it's cellared well, but uh, not impressed. Not impressed. Uh, it does have a uh, nice roasted malt character, hints of uh, some dark fruit, a little bit of molasses, caramel toffee, but nothing outstanding. Uh, nothing that I would buy again. So, final joke.
Decent beer. B plus for me, guys. 89 is where I'm going to put it. Over the beer advocate, they say 3.73, which is not even to their B plus range. That's kicking the door on it, but right at the B, upper end of the B category. Over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 3.86, which is in their B plus. And that's, I agree with that. Uh, it's a B plus beer, guys. A uh, little heavy on the bitterness, but still, decent beer. Decent beer. And that's where I'm going to leave it. And if you've had the 13th anniversary, the Bottle Works edition recently, let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.